All right, well, here we go again. Who's ready to go see what kind of mischief we can get into? Welcome back, everybody. It is old, moderately, medium, large Mike back out here in the Hoopty Barn. And back on the Green Goblin. And last time we was uh, out here, I was working on some plug wires and got my gauges put down inside. And well, I snuck back out when nobody was looking and I didn't record it, but I got some gauges. I got my gauges hooked up. Got my tachometer installed. I put it right in front of the clock because I don't think I'm gonna be worried about trying to look at the clock in there. And this right here, that's my ejector seat. Uh, also known as my cooling fan switch. So, I did a little bit of off camera work, but yeah sue me anyway so my next thing i'm working on here is trying to get this thing to start from the key and um did the phone a friend thing because it wouldn't start from the key and uh apparently this wire here off my starter relay goes to my neutral safety switch for now i just grounded it to the battery just to see if we could get it to roll over. There we go. Anyway, so now we got that rolling over. So now I gotta figure out how to hook up a neutral safety switch. So, yay, I guess I'll, uh, Get to looking around and figure it out and we'll go there and then see what's next so as is par for the course in the hoopty barn there's my neutral safety switch and yes two out of three of the prongs are broken off so not only do i get to get a new one of those and change it out but i also noticed that we have no speedometer cable I thought well surely it's up there tucked under the dash or something but of course again par for the course it was not and therefore if I can get my big butt up here I had to go digging through my stuff and Voila, look at there. Hopefully, this one will work. So, I'm gonna take that end off of there. I'm gonna see if we can get this one to hook up, and if it hooks up and works, then yay. If not, there's another thing we gotta deal with. Okay, so, ran to the store. Got the new neutral safety switch and got home to find this in the mail yay now we can finish up our steering down here take up our slack with that dude and uh, see how she works I imagine she'll work I mean considering they sell a whole bunch of them so anyway I'm going to see if I can't run some wires, get this neutral safety switch hooked up, and then we'll tackle that steering. Dadgummit, it is hot out here. <sighs> Anywho. There she is. I'm going to say I am happy with that adapter. That dude went in like it was supposed to i mean it was um 
it was tight enough. I mean, you know, I had I had to work to get it in there, but it wasn't so bad that I had to, you know, beat around on it and all that stuff. It went in like it was meant to. So, firm feel, steering and suspension. Good job. I like that. Anyway, so I got that and got my steering column all buttoned up got all my wiring all buttoned up i gotta put a couple plugs in the firewall you know got some daylight coming through there so i'll have to deal with that and uh got the neutral safety switch hooked up to where she uh turns over from inside and uh man i believe she's ready so you guys want to hear it? You want to hear it start up and go? Me too. So, come back next time. <laughs> and I'll see if I can't get her to start up and go. But today, it's hot. It's getting late and I'm tired. And uh, I'm going to go get a shower. And it ain't going nowhere. So, do me a favor. If you ain't subscribed, go ahead and do that. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a thumbs down. You know, hey, it's up to you. Leave me a comment. Say, you big dummy, you ain't supposed to leave cliffhangers like that. And I'll say, yeah, it's okay. You'll make it. So, till next time, you know the deal. Y'all keep watching. I'm going to keep working.